Hi folks, good afternoon. Welcome to the corner of uh, Warren and Taylor Street in Woodbrook. Here I am outside the Y Art and Framing Gallery, where this evening will be the opening of Dermot Louison's current exhibition entitled Way Back Then. If you're wondering where we are, we're exactly at the junction of Warren and Taylor Street, there in Woodbrook. Uh, it's just after school, so you can imagine the traffic. So follow me inside and I will show you a preview of Louison's current exhibition. I'm going to read something that Louisa has written as part of his bio for this exhibition, and he says, Most of my paintings depict the most impressionable images I have kept from my childhood and my early days growing up in Cascade, and also throughout my adult life moving through the forest and landscapes of Trinidad and Tobago. They are mostly of people, types of people with whom most others average, most other average people no longer come into contact with or maybe have never even known. These and other unforgettable images and experiences will remain with me until the day I die. Louisa continues to write in his bio, a select few of my paintings are imagined, like Crapo Obiaman, I would, think, I would think so deeply about the circumstances surrounding an event and begin to imagine how the event unfolded prior to it having happened. So interested was I uh, in cause and effect that I was sure how the Obi man looked and was even more convinced how his face contorted whilst he prayed. As I sit here reminiscing, I laugh to myself and recite some of the words and phrases I have heard throughout my, throughout my lifetime. I remember them early days as if it just happened yesterday and cannot but think how uninteresting life would be without them. For example, let's look at this one. Uh, Louison writes, he says, Hail Queen of Heaven. Hail Queen of Heaven. If you think you know how to serve God, think some more. Sweet Jesus. People are a bunch of jokers compared to those worshippers I met over the years in Paramin. In his, next category, in his next paragraph, he writes about fowls and flowers. Many Clo May Clooney's was a person who could not live without having fowls. Any kind of fowl, short foot, Bantan, Plymouth Rock, Rhode Island, Black Giant, Frizzle, Clean Neck, Loghorn, you name them. She had them all. May dated every egg she got, writing the numbers on the eggs with charcoal pencil. She will get to the root 